gonna be another dyno video. I've done a few of them uh, over the course of the last year for different uh, different items, but this time we're gonna talk about injectors. For all motor uh, VQ37, like in a G37 or 370Z, which is a pretty popular platform for modifying, there's a lot of back and forth about what injectors to use. And it's also becoming a little bit more difficult to find OEM GTR injectors in these, these types of cars where we're just doing naturally aspirated on E85. So today, pairing some popular injectors, uh, which are the OEM GTR injectors in a 370Z that is tuned by myself. We're gonna dyno it with these injectors, and then we're gonna dyno it with a set of injectors that we're gonna be uh, introducing. Um, what are those? These are uh, injectors that have, we've been working with a company on developing. Uh, they're 650 cc per minute, so they're actually slightly larger flow rate uh, than the factory GTR injectors, but they're not actually, that actually doesn't matter, it's not a huge, huge deal. The biggest problems that we've run into with uh, like poor quality injectors or injectors that are imported from overseas and then rebranded or uh, injectors that are uh, that don't actually cooperate with the factory computer uh, may cause uh, poor drivability, uh, poor startup characteristics, poor idle, as well as power loss. There are some brands of injectors that even though they're good quality and they test fine on the flow bench, that he, with this particular car, the 3.7 ECU, um, it does not cooperate with the factory injector firing angle or injector calibration, and as a result will cause a loss of power even when tuned uh, correctly. So this video is gonna document the testing of these injectors um, in a controlled environment, uh, just straight before and after. Uh, we're also gonna be putting this car on E85 and tuning it on E85 just to show you the gains uh, again, just so we have a little bit more data for you guys. So <clears throat> like I mentioned before, um, this car is has factory GTR injectors in it. It's a Nissan 370Z, it's a 2010, it's also got admin intakes, long, ISR long tube headers, and a Tomei catback, which is a really good combo. It's a combo, one of the best or, or better uh, combos of mods um, for this vehicle. So we should be seeing some good numbers. We'll also see some good drivability as well. And these are gonna be available on our website along with the uh, fuel pump and CJM install kit. It's a complete package here in the, in the next month or so. So enjoy the video. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Okay, so we did three pulls on the GTR injectors. Um, the numbers vary a little bit, run to run. They always do on these cars, just based on oil temperatures. So best pull on the GTR injectors is 320 horsepower with 265 torque. We're gonna take a look at the data real quick, just for transparency. So we've got the log from the most recent run pulled up. air fuel ratio and ignition these are kind of the core parts um, we're only going to be making sure the calibration is the same when we change injectors and retune the car um, just to make sure that the injector firing angle on the factory computer and the spray pattern atomization and everything like that work either comparably or better than the gtr injectors so this is the data from the full throttle run you'll see the air fuel is pretty flat 
basically 12.7, 12.8 all the way across with minimal fluctuations. Ignition timing starts out just below 20, creeping to just past 30 degrees up at the very top of the run. So this is on 93 uh, again. And this is just so you guys know what the uh, air fuel ratio data looks like as of right now. So we're gonna swap injectors, run it back, and after that we'll tune the car on E85 just for, uh, just for fun, and we'll show you all the numbers afterwards. Okay, so got the injectors in, putting the tune in right now. I'm just gonna do a couple hits on 93. Now we're gonna put 10 gallons of E85 as well. So the, the test is just to make sure that the injectors that we're gonna be bringing to market work just as good if not better than than the uh, either stock injectors or OEM GTR injectors um, for naturally aspirated application and primarily work as good, if not better, than a set of factory GTR injectors on E85 uh, because the stock 370Z injectors will not support E85. Idling nice and smooth on the first revision. Short-term fuel trims, nice and tight already. Uh, we're gonna start doing the driving and then we'll get it to operating temp and do some pulls. So I did two pulls with the new injectors. I'm gonna show you the dyno graphs. So earlier in the video, I mentioned the first three runs were with the uh, factory R35 injectors. And then this is with the 650s that we've been testing. Um, the only thing changed on this tune was just the injector size and then the airflow table to make sure that the air fuel and fuel trims are all correct. So I'll show you the data real quick. So this is the section of the air fuel log where it's uh, the full throttle part. So we've got just 12.7, 12.6, 12.8, pretty much perfectly flat all the way across. So the car is very stable um, at full throttle, uh, very stable idle and drivability wise, basically like a stock injector, just so, I mean, you can't really expect anything less, especially in this day and age. So they're doing their job. Um, we're going to Go ahead and put some E85 in. Um, this car seems like it's a little tired, even though it's lower miles, it smokes quite a bit at full throttle, but I think there'll be, I think it'll make a little bit more on E85. So we'll try that next and then we'll see what it does. Going from 320 to 323 with the same oil temperature and everything uh, is pretty, it's pretty good. I mean, it's just making sure that the atomization is correct and it's not conflicting with the factory computer's uh, injector firing angle like some of the other injectors will. So here's our last couple runs on E85. 
final figures was 335 horsepower and 277 torque, so a nice healthy bump over 93, which is kind of the point of putting bigger injectors in anyways. So a uh, total gain of 10 foot-pounds peak, and then about 12 uh, horsepower peak. And then through the top end of the graph, looks like um, about like 12, 13. Yeah, 12 to 13, so really good numbers. For this car and this combo and everything like that, one thing I want to note, the conditions are pretty uh, unfavorable, and we're using uh, SAE uh, weather correction, which doesn't really give you any more points, um, even when the temperature and humidity are pretty high. So it's only giving you 2% positive correction on the weather station on the dyno, but that's fine because we're just checking gains. Uh, we're not trying to get just a high dyno number to publish. So. But these numbers are really good for the mods and the combo and the age of the car. Um, and it's very good proof of concept for these injectors. Um, there's no weird drops or dips throughout the power band, no misfires, no issues with startups, no uh, issues with idle. It's very stable at 750 RPM. Um, so it worked, these injectors work. Um, they're gonna be on our website soon as part of a package. Uh, ignore the short trims, they're a little rich right now because the car doesn't have a flex fuel sensor. It's, uh, and it's running like about E60 or so, and the tune is for E85. So uh, don't worry about that for the experts that want to play uh, Master Tuner on the YouTube comments. So that concludes our uh, discussion and our test session today. Uh, if you have any other questions, let me know, and keep an eye on the website for more details.